Hey everyone, good morning! Today I have a huge Walgreens haul to share with you guys. So as some of you may already know, Rimmel Cosmetics are 50% off at Walgreens and some of the Wet n Wild Cosmetics that are $1.99 are on sale for $0.99. Cents. So I grabbed the opportunity, took advantage of it, and picked up some stuff. And they're mostly nail polishes. Well, all of them are nail polishes except for one remote thing. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first and only thing that's not nail polish that I picked up from Walgreens today is this Rimmel Cosmetics Stay Matte Press Powder. So it's a shine control powder. And I don't really have that many pressed powders. Well, I actually don't have any pressed powders that have a tint to them because I only use my Sexy Mama translucent powder and my other one, which is the Physician's Formula Happy Booster, doesn't really show up as anything. So I haven't tried this and I really like matte finish powders. So I wanted to see how this worked out because I'm going to an event this Friday and Saturday and maybe I'll need some matte powder. And the shade that I got is in shade Four or Sandstorm. This was the darkest one that they had. And let me try it on my skin. Huh. It blends in nicely. So I'm just going to see, have to see later on when I use it, when I go to work, if it really lasts and it keeps my face matte. Oh, and I paid $2.99 for this because this was originally $5.99. Okay, so the next 13 things that I'm going to show you are all nail polishes. And so I'm going to show them to you and then swatch them on my nail wheel so that you will see what they actually look like on the nails. From the Rimmel Collection, La Rimmel Lasting Finish Pro Collection, I picked up four nail polishes and I was lucky to have found these two which also came with a base coat slash top coat with them and they all cost the same and the original price of these was $4.48 or $4.49 so I only paid $2.24 for each of these and th this was a really good deal because it came with the base coat and the top coat as well. So this one right here is shade number 270 or steel gray. It's this really pretty dead brown color. Here is steel gray right here and that is two coats of it it went on kind of streaky but I did like the brush on this it's similar to the wet n wild mega last polishes there if you can see that it's kind of wide so it makes it easy to apply all over your nail and it's very very similar to this one up top which is wet n wild's wet cement the next color that I will be swatching for you is this one and it is shade 370 wild orchid and this was the only color that was labeled as a new shade. And here is Wild Orchid. It's very pretty. I love it. I thought I'd have a shade already similar to it, but I really don't. Next is this pretty bright pink color. And this is shade number 330 or Posh Pink. And here it is swatched on my color wheel. And also, as you can see, I don't really have anything similar to it. I love these Rimmel polishes because they come on really glossy. Last Rimmel polish that I have here is shade number 375 or Stiletto Red. It's this super bright, show-stopping red color. And here is Stiletto Red swatched right below Posh Pink. I so love it. It's so bright red and so glossy. It's really beautiful. Now the next nine nail polishes that I'm going to show you are all from the Wet n Wild Mega Last Nail Polish line. And you already know that these originally cost $1.99 and I got all of them for $0.99 cents each. So we're going to go from light to dark and the lightest shade that I picked up is this one. Shade 202 or Break the Ice. And here's Break the Ice Swatched. I know you can't really appreciate the beauty of it, but it's a really nice shimmery white color. Man, Next, we have shade 203B or 2% Milk. Here is 2% Milk Swatched right beside the shimmery white one. What was it called? Break the Ice. This is Break the Ice, and this is 2% Milk. So if you're a fan of French manicures, then you would like 2% Milk. It's a really creamy off-white color. Now here I have shade 205B or sugar coat and it's very similar to 2% milk except that it has a slightly pinker undertone. Now here's sugar coat right beside 2% milk and you can't really tell the difference with my lighting so if I were you I would just pick up either of the two whichever is closer to my 
undertone because they're very, very similar and you don't really need both of them. I meant closer to your undertone, not mine, your undertone. And the next shade here I have is 204B or Private Viewing. So this is slightly darker, but it's still a very nice light cream shade. Here's two coats of Private Viewing. This one is shade 206C or Undercover. Here's Undercover Swatched, so it's a very pretty neutral color with some red undertones to it. This one is shade 207B or Bite the Bullet. And I already have this shade in the old packaging, which I got on clearance for 69 cents. And the swatch is this one right here, Bite the Bullet. So it's it has a purplish undertone to it, but it still can pass for a neutral color. Pretty pink right here is shade 209C or Candy Licious. And here is Candy Licious swatched. And the closest shade that I have to it, I guess, would be this one, which is Sally Hansen's Bubblegum Pink. So Bubblegum Pink and Candy Licious. This is shade 208B or Through the Grapevine. Here it is swatched, and it looks like a purple with reddish undertones to it. And also on my color wheel, I don't have anything similar Last to it. Last but not least for the nail polishes, this is shade 217B or Disturbia. And this is the darkest shade that I picked up and also I think the darkest shade that they have in the Mega Last line. Here's Disturbia swatched and it's this really deep purple and it does have some violet sparkles or shimmer in it. And it kind of reminds me of this one right here. This one that I'm pointing at. This one, and this is Orly's Mysterious Curse from their limited edition Dark Shadows line. So that was my Walgreens haul, but besides the haul, I also wanted to share with you a few things that I got in the mail today. Some freebies, and one of them is this one, which is the Garnier Instant Perfection All-in-One Miracle BB Cream. So I've been really curious about this, but I didn't want to shell out 12 or $10 for something that I didn't know whether it will work or not, so good thing I have this test. So here's the contents of the envelope, and they actually have both of the shades here, light, medium, and medium to deep, so that'll help me choose which shade is better for me, and it also came with a $1 off coupon and a Garnier moisturizer. And I finally got my Target Spring Beauty Bag box. <laughs> I was so excited when I opened the mailbox and I saw this. I was like, yay! And this is what was inside the box. I just opened it and it's a really pretty pouch bag. It's pink and orange. Tangerine Tango. And I actually wish the glam bags were as nice as this because the glam bags are just cheapo. <laughs> but no, I'm not complaining glam bag. I'm sorry. So opening it and we have a pack of simple sensitive skin experts cleansing facial wipes so mm, I like these and then we have a little bottle of the Nivea extended moisture daily lotion so it says it relieves dry tight skin for 48 hours it has pro vitamin b5 let me smell it hmm. it's actually unscented or it has a very mild scent, so I like Nivea products, they're very moisturizing. And then we also have a little bitty Neutrogena Visibly Bright Daily Facial Cleanser. And the last bottle here is the Pantene Fine Flat to Volume Conditioner. Travel size? What else is in here? Oh, we have a sample of the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. I've actually already tried this because I was sent a tester. No, I didn't. I wasn't sent a tester. I signed up to get a tester of it, and it was really nice. It does brighten up your skin without giving it that shimmery effect, so I really like this one. And the last thing it seems in this bag is this booklet of coupons, and let's see what kind of coupons we have in here. So, I'm assuming it's all beauty so stuff. We got a $2 off CoverGirl Cosmetics, a $1 off Jurgen Skincare item, a dollar off L'Oreal Face Cosmetic item, foundation or primer, $1 off Maybelline Volume Express Mascara, a dollar off the Neutrogena Facial Skincare item, $3 off Nexus Frizz Defy Hair Care item, I love Nexus. A dollar off Nivea body skincare item, going really fast here. Two dollars off Olay facial skincare item, moisturizer treatment or cleanser. A dollar off would purchase of two hair care items. 
Herbal Essences Pantene Aussie or Head and Shoulders, but I think I'm going to go with Herbal Essences if I use this coupon. Woo! $2 off Pixie Designer Cosmetics. They have some really good stuff. $2 off Revlon Cosmetics. I love Revlon. I love the lip butters so much. Oh, a dollar off Sally Hansen Magnetic Nail Polish. I actually haven't seen their magnetic nail polishes at my Target, so hopefully they get some in. And finally, a dollar off Simple Facial Skin Care item. And that's the booklet of wonderful coupons from Target. So that was all that I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. I'll see you again soon. Bye!